middle-aged guy here from the middle-aged guy cave, aka my garage that needs to be desperately cleaned with a little surprise. Yep, more after this. Well, I was mistaken. I thought this this was the uh, or these were the Girl Scout cookies I ordered. Apparently, I was wrong. What the hell is this crap here? No, I'm joking. So, um, my gun. Interesting story here. My one of my pistols is in. Uh, it's a Springfield XDM. It's a full size, forty caliber pistol. As we watch what's in here. Um, and the reason I bought it was because I needed a um, higher capacity gun at the time. And this was years and years and years ago. So the only, the only guns that had high capacity were um, high capacity magazines were the full size ones. Well, now fast forward to 2020, 2019, 2018, and I got myself the CP3 for my everyday carry. And that's a high capacity magazine and a compact size. So the Springfield just kind of sits all by its lonesome in the safe. And I wanted to do something to change it up. I had been looking at a um, Caltech Sub 2000 before the pandemic and everything started. Uh, they were around two hundred and ninety nine dollars is what I saw them for. Now they're up to six hundred. So with that being said, I didn't want to pay any more money. I'm tired of the gun industry as much as I love guns. Pretty much bleeding everybody dry. So I looked into something, um, and I had seen one of these before. As you know, I'm as a micro Ronies, but those things were like four or five hundred dollars. I mean, the MSRP was like what three something. But by the time they got into the people's hands to actually sell them, yeah, price were outrageous. Um, this one wasn't nearly that much, and it's through Optics Planet. Thanks, Optics Planet. Optics Planet. Yeah. Anyways, so what I'm going to do here is um, go get my Springfield, and we're going to do a test fit and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. And just a quick breakdown of what's going on. Um, so, of course, as you know, this um, can house different types of gun with the same manufacturer. So, for example, I have an XDM 40 caliber with a, I think it's a 3.8 inch barrel. But all the sizes come in this pouch here. So you'll get a bunch of these um, fittings with the gun, that the gun fits into. And each of them is marked. It'll say XDM 9mm, XDM 9mm Elite. XD9, etc., etc. It's in the instruction booklet, and underneath those pictures, it'll tell you which guns they house. So the one I had to pick was the XDM 9 millimeter, which also works for the XDM full size and XDM 3.8 40 caliber, which is what I have, because um, the 9 and the 40 are this, pretty much the same size as the X with Springfield. So that's where I'm at. I put in the proper um, charging handle thing, and this just fits over that inside of. Um, inside of that right there, the carbine casing thing. So what I'm going to do is put that in and I'll let you know if it was difficult. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have my other camera charged yet. I'm just trying to get this taken care of and get this posted because I know people have been posting about this for like a year. So bear with me and I'll get it in. I'll give you a difficulty schedule, a difficulty level of, hard it, of how hard it was on a scale of one to 10, one being the ability to eat pudding without dying and 10 being building a nuclear missile. So bear with me one moment. All right, so some of the some of the adjustments we've had to make, which is pretty simple, is these little screws right here. They go into these little holes. And you can see that's sorry about the shadowing. They go in these little holes right here, and the holes are just etched in. It tells you the barrel length. You also match that up with this right here. So this slides. I'm sorry about my hands, guys. I'm trying to do this by myself. This slides in and out to the appropriate barrel length. See, so you put the appropriate barrel length on there, line it up, and line up the holes and screw it back in, which is what I'm fixing to do. And hopefully after that, otherwise it looks pretty easy. So get your pudding cups ready. One moment. So, um, unfortunately, this is going to have to be um, that right there. Oh, crap. It's going to have to be uh, to be continued. Apparently, I need to take off the sights that came with the gun. And I need a universal removing tool because that thing is in tight. So, I'm going to have to order that. Remove the uh, sights. I'm just probably going to remove both the front and the rear sights. Let me see here. Yeah, because so what's see that that needs to come off. So what's happening is um, that piece that I was telling you about needs to fit 
directly on this, right? Let's see here. It needs to fit on this. So this is a um, charging handle. It should fit on this and sit flush, okay? And yeah, that's a welding table. So that should sit flush on the top of the serrations, but it doesn't. It sits kind of cockeyed and up a little bit. And when I look down there, there's a little there's a little hole in there for the sights, it looks like. But my sights on the XDM model, I guess they're a little high for that. So it um, it doesn't let it sit flush. So yeah. So I'm going to have to order that uh, re uh, site removal tool. It's a little universal tool and get back to this as soon as I can. So I appreciate your patience. For me, it'll be a few days till that part comes in for you to be a few seconds to you flip over to the next screen and continue on. So it's been over a week, maybe like eight days, I guess, six days. I had to order one of these. Um, this is, and I'll give you the box here because you're going to need it. It's the Universal Pistol Rear Sight Adjustment Tool to remove the sights from an XDM for the conversion itself requires one of these vices. Um, they're not too expensive. I called uh, I called several gunsmiths in town and they wanted anywhere from seventy to ninety dollars to remove the sights for me, and it was and it was still going to take them a few days to get to it because they were backed up a little bit work wise. Um, this online is like around forty dollars, so you're saving yourself the money there, and you can use it for other things. Um, what's special about this one is it comes with these, excuse my hands, with these little uh, bits right here, right there, those little things right there. They're um, specifically cut and angled to fit this type of um, slide. And they also have the dies on here for straight slides like locks and stuff like that. Anyways, um, the XDM is notorious for having really, really tight um, sights on them. So one of these vices is required. I just took off the back one, which is this one right here. Now this XDM, it is a factory XDM, but since it's a match grade barrel, it came with the upgraded sights, which are lot, which are taller than the uh, factory ones, which is why the little um, why it wouldn't fit inside the uh, the carbon casing. So now I'm gonna take out the top sight, which is this one here, just because I'm already doing it, and I'll fit it in, and I'll show you the final result here in a minute. All right, so upon further review, it wasn't necessary to remove the front side, just the black one, just the back one, which I did. Um, it wasn't too bad. That's a pretty cool little tool there. Um, so now I have the XDM 40 caliber unloaded. There's no round in the clip. It's been cleared. Um, so what I'm going to do is select the part that's appropriate, the plastic fitting, which is this one here. Just twisting. Oops, sorry. Anyways, this one is labeled XDM 9mm. See that? And it tells you in the book that the 9 and the 40 um, are interchangeable as far as the body goes. So these ridges in here line up with these right here. So we're going to place the gun in. Like I said, I'm doing it with one hand, so I apologize. And those ridges should pretty much line up on their own. You're going to get this. You want to eliminate that gap as much as possible. You're not going to eliminate it all the way, though, because the way the, the, the gun itself is lined up. Give me one second. All right. So once you get that lined up, and which for me is there. I wish I get the flash on there. See, there isn't much of a gap here, but it's only because that's the way the ridges on this piece of uh, polymer and this are lined up. Okay, so once you get that done, all you're going to do is slide to go forward until it clicks. Does that click? That means it's in there. There's some pins down here that are attached to these two release clips that engage the front of the gun. This slides down, pop, and this pushes forward. When you push this forward and it locks, this pops out. And there should be a red line visible, letting you know that it's locked into place. And then, with that being said, there you have it. Not bad. A little fold of carbine. So, the release button is right here. Press this for the back for the stock. Like I said, one handed, so I apologize. Second. So 
sorry about that, I'm a little overzealous. The stock release is right here on the side. You press that in and this fills up and that locks into place and that's it. Put in your backpack, put in your vehicle and when you need to open it up, it'll click open. You can rack it and you have full access to the weapon itself. I think I'm missing here are some iron sights, which I think I'm going to get soon. But yeah, that's it. And that's the review for the CAA micro conversion kit for my 40 caliber XDM. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Appreciate your patience. Well, for you, it was a couple of seconds. For me, it was eight days, nine days. But we are done. Let's see here. And that's it uh, from Middle Age Guys. Signing off once again with another review. Um, and don't forget, I also. I'm gonna include this in the uh, in the tagline too. It's really a cool tool. Um, actually, I was looking at it, and it's it feels the polymer feels polymerish. This is plastic, but it's super sturdy. Super. I took a wrench to it to help get that uh, side off, and it worked great. Anyways, once again, middle aged guys signing off. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, all the other good stuff, so we can build the channel up, and I can keep reviewing stuff during this pandemic period. Um, just to let y'all know, the next review I have coming up may be my hunting trip again. The last one we went on was a bust, but um, we got a pretty good scheduled trip here the end of January. And right now it's a few days before New Year, so it'll be soon. Um, I might just go and sight my rifle in. Um, it's going to be the AR-10 with the uh, Cabela scope on it. And that's going to be the next review, actually. It's going to be that Cabela scope. So um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all take care of each other. Peace.